So now we're gonna take a look at Linux server configuration. Uh, there is one for Windows server configuration, but I think we only need to really learn one here uh, because you can pretty much apply this to both and that'll be good enough for our studies. So the first thing you could configure is being able to download packages. So here I have Ruby or we have memcache. Uh, I think the package manager will generally be yum uh, because that's what AWS uses for both Amazon Linux 1 and Amazon Linux 2. If you can use uh, some kind of other OS, that might change to something else. Uh, then you can set Linux uh, Unix groups, something I don't do uh, very often, but something you can configure. Then you can also configure users and assign them to Linux groups. You can also create files or download files from the internet using a URL. That URL is for public facing files. So I don't think there's a way to download uh, private files, um, but for the content, you just specify content and provide what you want there. I'm providing a YAML file. Then you have commands. These are commands that you want to run before your application has been installed. So Elastic Beanstalk pulls your code base, um, but this is happens before that code is actually in the environment. Then you have services. So maybe you've installed Nginx and you want to ensure that it is running uh, when it starts up and it, it continuously runs. So if for whatever reason it shuts down, it will um, try to make it start up again. And then the last thing are container commands. And so these are commands that um, are, are specific to your application. So after your application or your source code has been downloaded to the environment, these are what you want to run on it. It says container commands, which make you think that these are for Docker containers. That's not the case. Um, so just be aware of that. But you know, for, for Windows, you're gonna have similar ones. So you'll have container commands, uh, uh, commands, probably something for packages and files. So it's more or less uh, similar. Uh, it's just as long as you conceptually understand the things you can set at the server level.